Johanna and welcome back. I have my Just Strong on and I'm an ambassador. I'll leave my link down below if you're interested in um, buying and um, they do carry plus sizes. So I am outside right now in this beautiful weather today doing my um, pot, my episode today. So I want to say is don't forget to go hit that subscribe button and the notification button. And yeah, if you're interested in um, following me on my weight loss journey, go check out my YouTube channel. Go check out my podcast channel. I don't, pod, I don't post a lot of podcasts, but I will be starting soon again. I'm hoping to do them on Fridays to talk about my week and what I've been through. I'm using my phone today because of um, my computer's acting up. I did an episode and wouldn't let me um, do it. So first thing first is that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do some quotes that I have from um, my phone. I, I will always face my fears and win. I treat myself like I deserve. I deserve to be at peace. And I really like what that has to say. And you guys can take what you guys want from it, but I really recommend it. Um, if you're interested in that app, it's called I Am. And it's on Android. And I think it's on the iPhone. I'm not too sure. Because I have an Android, right? And I'm sorry about the noises in the background. Those are my dogs and this AC unit. So hopefully I don't have to keep recording this because I have to keep because apps are shutting down on me and everything like that so here we go so I have been really busy that's why I haven't been posting um I went and looked for a place I applied for a place but I didn't get it I got declined and everything like that sorry that's my hands um I got declined for it and then just recently me and my family had to fight COVID my whole the whole household got it my two kids my sister my mom my stepdad all got COVID and we were fighting it so we had to um do, deal with that but the other thing is is that we have been we are now negative which is a relief and I'm very happy about that the other thing is is that I haven't been working out but I did I was working out there for a bit back in May um I think May or March May, May or April we went to do some trails and they were in Orangeville Ontario because I live in Ontario so they are up in Toronto area and I, the reason I found those uh, ones is because I watch a YouTuber who does um, trails with her dad, and I saw that she was at this one trail, and I wanted to see what it was, and yeah, so pretty much, um, yeah, um, sorry, my phone just did what it did, and I didn't expect it to do that, but anyhow, um, I just, I, I've done two trails, I put the, put it up, I will link it all down below, I did pull on the one, but I'm okay, I, um, hurt my knee. But that's pretty much it. Um, if you hear me cough in this pod, in this episode, it's because I have a little bit of a cough, but it's nothing serious. So, um, what to talk about? Because I haven't been doing this for a while. I'm playing with my hands right now. But if I keep looking over there, it's because I'm just watching the driveway to make sure nobody comes up. Um, I just recently got out of a one year and a half relationship with somebody who, um, was very. Um, I'm sorry if this is triggering for you was very mentally emotionally abusive towards me um he broke my car so my car is at the sh my car is in the at the insurance company right now trying to get looked at so i'm dealing with that right now too and um having difficulties with it so i just don't want to talk about it But the other thing is, is that I have been really busy with um, the kids. I have two kids, so my son, my daughter. My son just turned 15 on Thursday, on the 4th. But the other thing is, is that I've been trying to look for a place, and like I was saying before, I got to climb for a place because I live in Ontario and the rent's high. And that's all I gotta say is the rent is high and I can't afford it. I, I live with my parents. I pay, I pay so much for rent here and I just can't afford it and it's too high. and. Um, the income that I am on, um, I'm not going to talk about it, so that's nobody's business but my own. But yeah, like, um, I want to start going back to the gym. Um, if you guys want to see me do, let's say, a diet, a follow, like, a Victoria's Secret model or diet for a week, tell me, link, uh, I'll leave a comment down below and I will be doing that. But anyhow. I would love to love to know what you guys would like to see on videos on my weekly vlogs, my pot, um, my um, fitness channel, my YouTube. I think uh, book channel. I have a book channel, fitness channel, and everything. I can't keep up. 
But anyhow, um, I, um, I pretty much have just been trying to live my life and trying to get through things. I did some planting this year. I, I planted some cucumbers, some tomatoes, some carrots. They haven't come up yet, but if you know how long cucumbers grow, please leave, please leave a comment down below and tell me because like I'm getting leery. I just retrained. I replanted them a couple, I think a couple weeks ago I replanted them. And I, um, I just did that and they took, and then I, re first I replanted the tomatoes and then I did the cucumbers and I got like maybe six bushes out of them, out of the, um, out of the cucumbers, which was nice. So I did that and I just been, keeping my, like I said, keeping myself busy, um, with the kids and with things at home. I have a dog who, um, I spend a lot of time with too. But I just haven't been going anywhere because I got COVID. But I've been reading a lot, and I just finished one of the Colleen Hoover books. It ends with us, which made me really cry. But I'm not gonna. I'm gonna. You guys are gonna have to wait for that video. I'll talk about it on my next episode. But um, I recommend it if you want to read it, or if you don't want to read it, then don't read it. If you guys know who, which book I'm talking about, it's up to you guys. I'm reading one of her other ones, and it's really good. But I'm not gonna spoil it. But yeah, like I was saying, I've just been doing a lot of reading. I've been reading this self-help book, the one one hundred and one essays. I've been doing that, um, and I just been really busy doing stuff. And I know this episode's gonna suck, but I don't care. But I just been, I keep saying I just been, I just been concentrating on myself lately. Like I have a problem with coming out of my comfort place, my self-esteem, and things like that. So when I say I'm going to do something, I don't do it. I'm just, just the type of person who says I'm, um, a post, I can't even say it. Um, I'm not going to say it because it sounds like something else, right? I just, I just want to be me. That's all I want to do. Um, what else? I just have a problem. Like I'm going to talk about coming out of my comfort place right now. Like coming out of my comfort place is a major problem for me because like I get nervous from people and I have to come out of my comfort place, like, I gotta start recording in front of people, like, right now I'm outside, so nobody's home but my sister and I, but, I, it's nerve-wracking because I turn the camera off, and then I turn the phone off, and then that's what I do, right? So, pretty much, that's what I do, but I just been really, really, really nervous around recording around people and everything like that, and I just been really nervous about it. But, you know, I want to build my YouTube channels. I want to I want to build them up and get them up to a thousand subscribers by Christmas. You know, I really want to do that. And there's a lot of YouTubers through COVID that I have actually discovered, like to Tara Michelle, to Remy, to Ashley Nicole Marie. Like, a lot of them I have discovered. And I just, I didn't, like, back in 2007 when my son was born, I didn't know you can upload videos. If I knew that, I would have been doing it, but I didn't know. Um, you know, I, I watch a lot of TV, and I watch a lot of things. Um, I just got into this one show on YouTube where they find, they solve 20 years worth of, um, missing cases, and it's kind of cool, but it's based in the state, and it's kind of awesome, so I watch that kind of stuff, and, and even fitness YouTubers, which I have all linked down below, so if you want to go check it out, go ahead. But I recommend them. They do fitness, they do movie vlogs, they do healthy eating, um, and everything. <coughs> um, the other thing that I do is I just, I try to be myself, um, like, humongously, that's the major thing, is just being myself and just being where I need to be. I... I, I, you know, I, I have my opinions about things. I'm not going to base them. I just don't want to. <laughs> but I just, you know, I just don't want to talk about it, but I do. But I just don't know how people are going to respond to my comments. I do have a TikTok account, a fitness one, and, uh, oh, what else? I have a fitness one and, um, fitness one and a regular one where I put all my book reviews. I'll link that down below, which I have. Um, I have a link tree that's up on my YouTube channel. If you just press on the link tree, it has everything going down. It even has an Amazon there where you can see the books that I want or that is on my wish list and everything like that. I've even I started using this one app, app called Instant Cart, 
and where you can pick out your groceries and someone goes grocery shopping with you. I actually tried that the one time and it actually, the guy actually brought my groceries to me, which was nice. And I was, I didn't have to go out and be so stressful of going out and trying to get groceries and, and everything like that. It's just very stressful sometimes to go out when you go out in public. And with having what I had, I just didn't want to choose to get it again, so I decided to stay home. Um, I, like I said, I've been watching a lot of new YouTubers. I've been discovering more YouTubers. Um, I recommend them. I'll link them all down below, which I already have. But I've just been really busy, like, with the kids, trying to find a place to live, trying to do all of that stuff. And I have to slow down a little on it, so I will be, I'm hoping to start doing workouts. I'm hoping to start doing all of that and I'm just like trying to build a future where I can do all this stuff and not have an issue doing it so yeah like that's what I'm trying to do I just want to build a future where I can you know do a business and and have fun doing it and be able to do it and be myself but anyhow um I just am rambling on today. I just don't know what to say because it's my first podcast back in a while. I haven't done a podcast. I haven't done a video in a while, and I'm just babbling on. Um, and clue, this is my fourth time doing this recording, and I just keep keep getting frustrated with it. So I've just been, you know, I have seen some YouTube. I've seen some fitness YouTubers who have um, done prep mealing. I'm very interested in that. I'm very interested in all of it. I want to do it. And I want to start it. Oh, I got another quote, so just hold a second. I am grateful for the dreams that turn into reality. And another one is, I will always face my fears and win. That app I'm reading from is called I Am. And it is an amazing app. Um, it actually brings me up and it, like, writes, writes, my, um, writes me up. Bring, you know what I mean? Um, brightens my day when um, I, you know... But I, this is my first time using it. Like, I paid a whole year up. I can't wait. Like, I, I'm going to be getting all these quotes, and I'll be talking to them about you. But I think that if you hear that noise, I'm really sorry. Um, that's just my notifications going off on my phone. But like I was saying, like, i just been keeping myself busy, and I haven't been really posting. I say I'm going to post, but I don't post, and I'm going to post, and I'm going to post. But I'm thinking from now on I will be doing a podcast every Friday. Um, just to come out of my comfort zone to help my self-esteem and things like that. I'm going to be doing that, and I hope you guys like it and go and listen to it or listen to your car and listen to what I have to say. And if you don't like what I have to say, then don't make a comment and don't listen to it. But I need to talk about things that I want to talk about that I have struggles with, and I have a lot of struggles, and I have major struggles. And I can tell you that one thing right now. I am like every person out there. I am struggling with life I'm struggling with decisions to make in life and that's all to it like I want to lose the weight but I want to be healthy but at the same time body positivity is a major thing with me I don't feel comfortable in my own skin I don't feel comfortable in my own body and and that's all to it and you know a lot of people you know I I was bullied in school because I was different and I just didn't appreciate that I, I didn't like that and I quit school because of it and none of those those kids today you know i don't know where they are and i don't want to know but at the same time it's my daughter emma you know she gets bullied in school and i try to help her with it and i try to deal with it and and everything like that and it's just she she has you know and i just look at her and go you look fine you look beautiful no matter what sweetie and don't let anybody tell you otherwise i tell my kids to stand up for themselves but stand up for the right reasons and the right way but you know, just trying to get, like, do what I'm doing now is trying to get things out there about how I feel and the way I feel. And explaining to you guys is very hard because I don't know what you guys are going to say. I don't know what you guys are going to do. I don't know what you will say. I don't know if you guys are going to drag it on and make a big deal out of it. But trying to lose the weight and struggling with it, trying to lose it, trying to be on a weight loss journey, trying to change your life, trying to change a lot of things, it's hard. And I'm trying to do that, and I have, I'm having difficulties concentrating and being on track and things like that. Um, you know, I, I say I'm going to do a podcast, and I don't do it. I, I say I'm going to post a video, and I don't do it. And today, this video is going to go up today, and I'm hoping it will. 
and then I'm hoping Monday I can start vlogging and vlogging what I'm doing during the day um, and everything like that. My parents are gone this weekend because they're gone to um, my sister's, you know, and I, I'm having issues with um, things right now in my life and there's things going on that I just, I really don't want to talk about because I don't think it's necessary to talk about. Like, I just, if I want to talk about it, you know, I will. But, you know, just spending my son's cat. And, um, you know, just being stressed out and being um, all of it. But I'm, like I said, I'm trying to build a bright future ahead of me to be able to do all that stuff. And I can't if I'm doubting myself. And I doubt myself all the time. And I doubt myself completely. And I know a lot of people doubt themselves that... They can't, they, they look at themselves in the mirror and they go, I don't like that, I don't like that. And then they have people who, you know, who body shames them or does negative body, body act, you know, you, you hear a lot of things that go on. People are being made fun of because they look different or people are being told that they can't do anything in life. I've always been told that. And I just think that I need to show people that I can do it and just say, hey, look at what I'm doing. I'm doing this. I love doing this, you know. Um, I, I need to be able to concentrate on that. And the other thing is, is this trying to get it out there, awareness out there of a lot of things that go on. I have been through so much. I, I was in a relationship that had to do with mental, emotional abuse. Um, the guy was always degrading me. He was never supportive. He didn't want me doing YouTube. He didn't want me posting. He would make nasty comments on my videos, everything. And I'd be just like, well, I'm not doing this anymore. I don't want to do this anymore. Um, you know, and I don't. I, I am. I'm, I have to push myself to do it. But at the same time, I'm like, why am I doing this? Why? And I look at myself and I go, this is the future that I want to build for me and my kids. Is this kind of future is doing stuff like this. Because I would love to have guests on my podcast and doing FaceTime with people who are struggling with mental health and and everything like that um, and struggling to lose the weight you know I would love to know who's out there who is struggling because there's a lot of people who are struggling you see all these stars doing photos with these skinny looking bikinis and you look at them and you look at yourself and you're like going I want to be like that I want to be that size but you know full well that you have to go on a strict diet. You have to eat strips and, and things like that. And if you have a hard time doing that, then a hard time following it, how are you going to get to your goal weight? I used to be like that. I used to be like that, and now I'm not. I'm just like the type of person now I'm trying to be. It's like body positivity matters. I, I don't want to be a sex symbol. I don't want to be any of that. I really don't. Like, um, I just want to be me. You know, I just want to be me. I'm, I have been through a lot. I, I've always been told that I can't do anything in life, and now I'm doing this, and I love doing this, but at the same time, I have to concentrate on doing this and being able to do it. But, like I said, um, I want to rebuild my, I want to build my channel back up. I want to build my channel up, get enough subscribers, get a lot of subscribers to follow. I want people to, you know, you know, I want people to understand is that I'm going through what you're going through. Um, body positivity is a major thing with me. I I need body positivity. I don't need body negativity around me. Um, you know, I have a thyroid condition. I have difficulties losing the weight. I gain it. Um, I'm on medication for it, but at the same time, it's like when you get to like, I have mental health issues too, and it's just very hard you know, trying to do something that you're trying to do, and I just want to be able to do it, so that's what I'm trying to do, and this is what I'm trying to get it out, I, I know how you feel, and I'm with you all the way, and if you need support, please message me on Instagram, or Facebook, not Facebook, but Instagram, you can message me at self-care, um, I'll leave all my links down below on, like, the video and the podcast episode that I'm doing, and I hope you like this episode, um, already made this 20 minutes almost um but i have to go now and i have to go and upload this and i have to get this edited so but no but like i said if you believe in yourself you can do anything and i always tell my kids that but at the same time don't listen to anybody else around you trust me you're beautiful no matter what 
and I have to get to that point about myself. I have to get to that point where I know I'm beautiful, I'm amazing, I'm good. But like I said, from now on, I will be doing the I am's um, quotes um, and everything like that. As for challenges, I want to put myself to the challenge. I want to put myself to that kind of challenge, but I have to think about it. So I got to think about what's the best challenge to do. I did try Chloe Ting's workouts. I might do them again. Um, some of them are hard, but some of them are easy, but not all of them are. So I'm just going to do one that's going to be content to me that I can do. But anyhow, I will be back with a podcast, an episode on Friday, so stay tuned for that. And then on Monday into Wednesday, I'm going to try to do a vlog and a fitness um, workout my fitness channel so i will leave that all down below and i hope you like this video oh and i think we got another quote i'm not too sure oh yeah i am grateful for the day we'll live i am grateful for the dreams that turn into realities but that's all i have to say those are the quotes i will be leaving those with you to see how you like them and see how you take from them i have done them all the way through this video and all the way through this episode um and that and um there was just a spider scary I'm scared of spiders but um but yeah um so i hope you like this video and um i'm gonna go run now because this spider is getting close to me and i really don't want it on my phone so anyhow thank you guys for listening and thank you for watching don't forget to hit the subscribe button don't forget to download it and don't forget to subscribe to my podcast channel and everything like that and i'm sorry that i rambled on it's just who i am okay i just rambled on today because i haven't really done an episode in a while so yes but anyhow thank you for listening and thank you for um watching and everything like i'm gonna keep saying but i have to get into my phone somehow to end this but like i said thank you for listening and thank you for watching and have a nice day Hey everyone, it's me now. Um, I had to use my phone to record, but it wouldn't let me upload. So now I have to, I was just holding my phone up to the mic so it can do the recording. But like I was saying, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification button. And I will talk to you guys on Friday and tell you what's updated. Okay, bye.